we live in a you know an internet age of data 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 everywhere you turn it's megabytes gigabytes you know all of that so at times there's too much data there's too much analysis and what we see then is teams coaches getting tied up in knots really and you need to keep a few critical points so what are the key critical points that a coach needs to get across the players in training and in matches and keep those points simple coaching is about being smart you know, and if you look through the words, the letters in, in the word smart, you know, you're specific to the situation. It suits the type of environment that you're in. It suits the type of, you know, uh, player that you have, whether it's under eights or under tens or under twelves. So you can't apply the same principles at under 10 level as you can at under 15 or, or senior. You know, the M is, is, you know, metrics must be motivational. You have to be able to motivate people by putting proper metrics in there. The A is about adaptability, about flexibility, about being able to change. So if something you're not achieving, what you're trying to achieve here in coaching, you have to be flexible to change. And that's the important thing. And, you know, the R is about real, about being realistic. You know, if, if, if you have really, really good players, yes, you can push them. And if they're young fellas, six, eight, you have to be realistic what they, what they can achieve. And then the T is about, you know, everything is about time and giving information timely to people, not roaring and shouting at them on a, on a pitch during a game. It's about, you know, the, the pre-week before matches or the pre-week before training that you give them data, you give them analysis. It's by coming here, talking to different people from different counties and different sports as well. There are other sports here as well. You see how they do it and it's, it's a learning environment. So what you're doing in here for two days is you're immersing yourself in a culture of learning. You're immersing yourself in a culture of people with different ideas, different perspectives. And then by going home and taking whatever you can, the positive elements of that out of it, and then putting that into your training, your coaching, your management, you know, in the next year ahead. So that's, that's really it.